Check it out. Do you really want to end racism in America? I mean, there are people right now protesting all over the world because of these uh, B the BLM movement. And they're trying to end uh, racism, and there a lot of it's violent, and some of it's peaceful. But do you really want to end all the isms? And not just racism, but all the fucking isms. You want to end them? Then I need you to ask yourself right now, what is peace worth to me? What is it worth to me? And I'm not talking about world peace or even just peace in your neighborhood. I'm talking about your own personal inner peace. What is it worth to you? What will you give to find this inner peace? Because until you're ready to give all that you are to discover this deep inner peace, don't talk to me about Indian racism. Don't talk to me about peace in the Middle East. Don't talk to me about world peace. And the reason why is because all of that peace, all of the, the end of all isms, begins not with you, but in you. People are always saying, we're praying for world peace, dude. But when their coworker, employee, or customer gives them the old middle finger, cusses them out, gives them a bad look, oh, no, 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 no. I can't believe, no, he didn't. No, she didn't just look at me like that. Oh, my God. I'll tell you right now. You know, it's wild. So many people want to end racism, right? And they're like, we need to end racism. And yet, when somebody cuts you off in traffic, and they flip you the middle finger, you sit there and you stew over that shit for 30 minutes on your way to where I can't believe they cut me off and then they flip me off and oh my God, road rage overtakes you. Well, listen, if you can't make it on your drive, your 20 minute drive to work, if you can't do that 20 minute drive to work in peace, how in the world do you think your prayers are going to bring world peace or somehow your protesting is going to bring in, in racism? It's not because every single ism begins in you, dude. And if you really want, if you really want to end racism, then you must discover peace within yourself. Peace within is the key to the end of racism. In other words, if there's chaos within you, if there's duality within you, if there's isms within your own nature, within your own mind, then those are going to manifest outside of you. We can't divide ourselves from the police or divide ourselves from whites or blacks while we're saying we're trying to end racism. We can't accuse people and judge people because this, whenever we judge, we are guilty of the same things. In other words, we're placing ourselves under the same law used in making the judgment. If we want to end racism, the secret, the key is discovering the inner peace, discovering true inner peace. And the value of this thing you can, is priceless. You can't put a monetary value on true inner peace. If you, even if it takes you, if you really give all of yourself right now, and it would take you 50 years in time, would it be worth it? Hell yeah, it'd be worth it. Take it from somebody that doesn't get moved. Peace is invaluable. And the handful of moments over the last 10 years that I've felt moved emotionally, where I wasn't creating my own emotion, but something outside of me was moving me, or I have felt frustration or anger, it's, been, it's just been a handful of times, just to here and there. And they'll very quickly overcome. But that, that feels like shit. And it's just, I'm talking about little things. So I can only imagine what it feels like to feel like you're being isolated and picked on and divided and separated and abused because of a skin color. I, I, I can't personally, I don't personally understand or know what that feels like. But what I can tell you is this. That your the change changing this it doesn't happen with protesting. It's not going to happen with uh, your prayers. It happens by you giving all of yourself to discover this inner peace, to discover this peace that you truly have, that you truly are. So can you see that if you want to end racism, you must first end the ism that exists in your own mind. Change does not begin with you. Change begins in you.